What the fuck did I just watch? <gasps> <gasps> What's going on friends? Logan Myers here for Cinefellas.com tonight. I'm going to be reviewing an old horror classic, a movie I was trying to get around to for 31 Days of Horror, but didn't get around to it. I'm talking about the film from 1977, Suspiria, directed by Dario Argento. And this is a film that I think I watched like 10, 15 years ago. I didn't really care for it, um, so I thought it was time to revisit the original film with the new one just being released with Dakota Johnson. You know, it's been having mixed reviews from the critics, but uh, from the true horror fans, they've been saying it's pretty good. So I wanted to revisit the original one and let's talk about it, shall we? So we have Jessica Harper playing Susie. She's accepted to this academy for ballet up in Germany. You know, there's a lot of weird things happening. And one of the great shots of the film and one thing that Dario Argento really does well in this film is the use of colors with Technicolor, an old school way of making films back in the day. Technicolor you may be familiar with in like Wizard of Oz, the vibrant colors that just pop out um, in this film. And Suspiria, this is what this movie is known for, is the color scheme and the set design and just the overall atmosphere that Dario Argenta really created. And early on in the film, you see in Susie's character, it's all rainy, she's in the cabinet, you have these like pinks and purple colors. But with her showing up to this academy, she notices another person leaving and this lady is like screaming something, but you can't really tell what she's saying and she basically takes off. So that's not really a good sign showing up to this academy of the school um, and somebody just freaking out and leaving. So that really is the setup of the beginning of the film. The people that are in this academy are just really weird and, and out there. And in this film, we have a lot of uh, German, Italian, and English actors. And in post-production, they overdubbed all the voices of these actresses. So they're all talking to each other in different languages, but it didn't really matter because Dario wanted to overdub the voices. But in this movie, there's a lot of really great shots. And one of the most iconic scenes of this film, if anybody knows Suspiria, it's this shot right here, is a lady hanging. She like falls through the glass, is being hung. And you see like this evil hand and it's, it's a really fantastic shot, and of course, with the color schemes of the glass and the walls and everything. It's just really beautiful palette of vibrant colors. And that's something that's shown throughout the film. And throughout the film, there's so many great kill scenes. Uh, there's one, another scene that uh, I really enjoyed. It was kind of like this barbed wire. This lady falls in the barbed wire. And just a lot of great uh, practical effects in this film and the use of cameras and this really beautiful way of using the score. Uh, the score in this film is done by Goblin. And, uh, you know, it really sets the tone of Suspiria. It makes it a film that really stands out compared to others of the genre of the Italian horror genre and that's why this movie is still good you know 40 years later but we find out in the movie that it's all around this coven of witches here at this academy and that's why everything's all fucked up and Susie's sick and she can't dance and you know some she knows something's up and it's all revolved around the witches in this school and the demonic entities and witchcraft and force that's within this place you know if you stick around here uh, it's not going to be good for you and you know this is kind of an original film for the most part. I haven't seen anything like this. You know, it was definitely original in 1977. You know, it's, it's considered a cult classic now. You know, people are still watching it in the Halloween season in 2018 because for, for many reasons, this is Dario Argento's, you know, magnum opus. This is a movie that people know him for and for good reason because he was very meticulous in the way he used the camera and the way that he used his color palettes and, you know, the set design and everything in this film. It really makes it stand out and it really puts his stamp on the film. So leading up until the end of the film, this movie really had me invested. I really absolutely love this movie from start to finish. You know, getting past over to vocal tracks, I mean, you can really enjoy this movie. I think Jessica Harper did an outstanding job as Susie and this character going to this academy and coming across everything that she comes across in this film in terms of the witches and, um, and all the deaths and, and crazy shit that happens in this movie. Um, you know, again, I love the score, the cinematography, the set design was absolutely beautiful. And that is what Dario Argento is known for, for this film. And it is top notch and still holds up 40 years later. Uh, you know, beautiful technicolor, vibrant colors popping out at you for the entire hour and a half. I had a few negatives about the movie. Um, a few of the characters you don't really care about. And again, you know, they're all speaking different languages with the overdub vocals and a few sequences in the movie that were just pretty silly. 
Uh, but you know, Dario Argento is not known for acting. He's more about the visual side of the film. If you look past that, I think you guys would have a good time with this. Overall, I'm going to give Suspiria from 1977 a three and a half out of five. Suspiria hair pieces. <laughs> What did you guys think of Dario Argento's 1977 magnum opus, Suspiria? What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit subscribe. This is Logan Meyer signing out from the Tans Academy right here in Germany. Until next time, cheers!